Yeah. Hi, everybody. Good to be here again. Um, I think it's the third time now in a row. Um, we just finished Tech Tech Seal and Text Process in May. It was really outstanding. Um, and uh, we, we had like 1,800 exhibitors, 50,000 vid visitors from all over the world. And the reason why um, we are taking part here at Fashion Tech is that we want to bring you from this very technical and processing oriented fairs, like the latest trends, what's going on. Because um, our credo is, and what, what we want to share with you is that um, we're pretty sure that when you guys, when all the fashion designers, all the programmers, all, all the people who are, who are involved in fashion and technology in the best way, um, that all these people should come together like at Fashion Tech or at our shows and bring in the best what they have and to, to, to think in cooperation and collaboration. But it's not only about thinking in, in, in smart technologies or thinking about in bling bling. It's also thinking in um, what is inside the fabrics or what can the fabric bring um, to make something more smart. And when you try to define the, 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 the word smart, it's, it's very wide, it's very open. So um, the idea is just to show now some examples, um, what I've detected, what we've detected um, in uh, Frankfurt in, in May, and to give you a very, very brief overview of some um, very specific uh, um, um, smart fabrics. And um, the thing is, as I said, the, there's no clear definition of, of smart, but when you think about smart in terms of um, how you should use them or how they should be used, you should always think about the qualities, the characteristics, and also the performances, and that's um, what I want to show um, you right now. So um, this is just some, some um, pictures that you can see what we had in Frankfurt during Tech Tech Seal, Tech Pros, where the catwalk show was showing smart fashion done by um, students from all over Europe. Um, we had the so-called digital textile microfi microfactory because, as I said, it's not only about the fabrics itself, it's also about the processing and how to process um, the fabrics. And um, there's a very smart, or very, very smart, very nice um, statement I got from a, from a um, fashion designer. She was visiting um, Frankfurt the first, or Tech Tech Sea Tech Pros the first time. And she was telling me um, that when you want to summarize the two shows, Tech Tech Sea and Tech Pros, it's, it's all about fabrics, machines, and coatings. And the trade fairs provides inspiration and insights into new materials for fashion designers. And that's what we want to do. We want to welcome the fashion designers to be a little bit more open minded about the, the newest and the latest trends in these, um, in these fabrics. So let me just jump into um, what I have brought. Some of the examples, by the way, you may know or you may be aware of, it, of them, but if I can only show you one example you are, you are surprised about, I think my job will be done. So have you ever thought about feeling like Cleopatra, taking a bath in the milk? You don't need to uh, take a bath of milk. Now you can wear milk because there's a Q milk. It's a functional fiber. It's uh, based on discarded milk, uh, which is not longer suitable for consumption. And um, we think, or, and also the, the, the um, developer of the Q milk fiber think that there's a huge potential because you can use these milk fibers both for fashion and for technical applications. And as I said, maybe you can, if you are a fashion designer, you can make your consumers, you can make your clients feel like um, Cleopatra next time um, by not using only cotton or silk. Um, another example is from the very well-known um, company Lensing, Lensing AG. Um, maybe you know um, the tensile, um, the tensile fiber or the uh, cellulose fiber. And uh, what did, what Lensing did this time for the very first time is as a as a as a further development that they are now using recycled cotton from industrial cotton waste. So this is also smart. It's not only about having some bling bling, having some technical developments. It's also think about how to care about about um, or with our planet, because when you um, think um, how much pollution we have in terms of industrial waste, industrial cotton waste, for example, and now there's a process of using this industrial cotton waste and bring it into a new tensile fiber, that's also for us, it's also um, a very smart, um, smart idea. Another example, it's um, Freudenberg, Freudenberg Performance Materials. Um, they have introduced during Tech Tech Seal um, their fiber balls. Um, you can use them instead of downs. So from now on, you can not only say that your food is vegan, no, you can also say my coat or my, my down jacket is vegan. And this is also just an idea of um, how to develop some existing stuff further. And in this special case, Freudenberg is uh, collaborating with uh, Napapiri, for example, to develop the padding in a more in a more fashionable um, um, way. And I mean, 
that's really a proof point. Freudenberg is absolutely a technical textiles company, but they are so open-minded to work together with fashion designers and to bring the best of the two of the two types uh, um, together. Another example from an exhibitor from uh, text process from our fair is Gütermann. And Gütermann um, was, uh, has presented yarns from s recycled PE bottles. But the thing is, it's not only yarns from recycled PE bottles. No, the yarns itself, they were already recycled. So it's a two-step recycling um, in, the whole, in the whole manufacturing uh, process. And um, it all starts at the end when you, when you think about these yarns uh, with, the, with the PE bottles. It really starts with a shredded PE bottle which you bring to Edeka or to Rewe um, when, you finished, when you have finished your water or your drink. Um, so this is also a thing that you not only think about having one time recycled uh, materials but also two times, three times, four times, again, to make kind of a process um, happening. Of course, there's no smart fabrics presentation without any kind of bling bling. And if you have been here um, last time already, um, may you're aware of interactive wear because they have been on stage with us the last time. Um, just as, an, as a, a little reminder and as an idea, um, interactive wear are the, the masterminds behind the um, lighting and the heating system of the Bogner or the Zenya jackets, for example. And they are really a specialist in integrating electronics into textiles, either heating elements or communication tools and at the end and that's also kind of a key message for me which I would, would like to share with you it's not only about integrating these features it's really I mean nearly everybody can do integrate um, features like communication tools into a jacket it's really about bringing together the two aspects um, which means it should look good so that's the fashion, that's the design aspect, but it's also, it's really necessary to make it convenient for the, for the clients, for the consumers, because if they wear a jacket and there are cables everywhere and the heating system is not working and it's not washable, it's not convenient. So you can be a fashion designer having a good uh, or a nice jacket, which is kind of smart, but in fact it's not smart because the consumer will never buy it. So you should also think about um, having uh, combined these two, the two, these two aspects and interactive wear is one of the companies who could help you doing that. And when, I need to, or when I'm talking about interactive wear, of course I need to um, talk about Fosterona as well. They have been here also for two times already. Um, they are one of the leading companies in smart textiles, a very well-known producer of electronic components used in fashion. Um, they're working, for example, with, also with Bogner or with um, Acris, with Senja, with Moon Berlin here. And if you have seen um, um, the, the fashion tech show downstairs, you may be aware of the Marlene D. Dietrich dress um, with the LEDs and the LED technology is also um, brought into the dress by Fosterona. So they are really aware of um, what is the, the state of the art in terms of um, smart technologies in, in fashion. One more sustainable example, because as you may see, there are a lot of sustainable aspects when, it, uh, when we think about smart, is um, the recycling aspect from Hohenstein Institute. They, have a, they had a cooperation with um, the Swiss-based fashion brand um, Freitag, and they wanted to prove that their trousers made of natural fibers are 100% biodegradable after you have removed the metal buttons. And um, the result was that the trousers have been decomposed visibly after five months already. But this is not a standard process right now. So Hohenstein, for example, would need you, as a fashion designer, would need you, as labels or brands, to work together with them on a really defined standard. So that's it from Tech 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 Process. If you have time, if you are um, ready with uh, premium, may you wouldn't have um, the chance to visit our shows, Green Showroom and Ethical Fashion Show. They are done by Messe Frankfurt at Funkhaus. And um, there you can see also some kind of smart fabrics, but they are more in the sustainable aspect. Um, by the way, thanks to um, Premium Group, because um, we have a shuttle service right out of the door, and you can sit into our van, and then you can drive to Funkhaus. And um, just to give you three more little examples, um, when you think about Alina Schurfeld, one of our designers, you can um, not only eat fish, you can wear fish on your feet because um, she developed the process of use salmon leather. So really leather made of salmon instead of uh, conventional um, leather. When we stick to the leather process thing, um, it's not only about um, having uh, new leather materials, it's also about how you can transfer a conventional leather tanning process um, 
by, for example, using rubber tent letters. Because normally you would, um, you would use um, conventional chrome tanning. And let me tell you, when leather is uh, tanned with chrome, it's super, super poison for the whole planet and at, at the end for us. So rubber is a really nice and very um, smart um, alternative to um, tan the leather in a, in, a, in, a, in a sustainable way. And it's still the conventional or it's a normal leather still. So in terms of quality, you can feel it. Again, and if you can make it to Funkhaus and you can visit Deep Mellow, you can really touch it and you can feel it. And last but not least, to come back to the fashion aspect, maybe you have heard about the cooperation from the fashion brand Lanius with um, Kunert. And um, Kunert, um, the tights and the stockings of Kunert's uh, blue collection are made of Econyl. And Econyl is a very innovative nylon yarn recycled from old fishing nets, so we stick to the fish kind of, and other plastic waste from the ocean. So it's another project of how to solve the ocean pollution problem um, by making yarns and fibers out of of, um, out of waste, directly out of the of the um, of the ocean, and the cooperation was that the tights and stockings were done by Kunert in different colors, as you can see here. And Lanius, the sustainable fashion brand, they made matching coats based on um, organic wool. So all that you can see in Funkhaus, and I'm pretty sure within the next time when you go to the retailers or next time at Fashion Tech, when I bring hopefully some more new smart examples with me. Thank you.